Okay, gentlemen, it is time for what you've all been waiting for, a frame-by-frame -frame analysis of the brawl that happened between City and Atleti. So it all starts off here, when Foden goes to take the ball into the corner to waste time. And the game had already been getting pretty chippy with some rash tackles by Atleti players and some time wasting by City players that Simeone himself would have been proud of. Anyways, this is a pretty good tackle by Felipe, but... He decides that just kicking the ball isn't good enough for him, and decides to just kick Foden. Now Foden here looks like he rolls as much as Wiz Khalifa while on vacation in Jamaica, but he uses his elite positional awareness to get back onto the pitch to stay down and try and waste even more time. Now Savage, in being a player for Diego Simeone, naturally has a complete understanding of all time-wasting tactics. So realizing what's going on here, he runs over in a fit of rage to... <laughs> <laughs> to, <laughs> to try and drag Foden back across the touchline, back out of bounds. Now Zinchenko here, who was warming up right there, right on the touchline, tries to stick up for his guy. I mean, when your boy is time-wasting, you have no choice but to do everything in your power to enable that behavior. After Zinchenko has successfully separated Savage from Foden, it took a while, but the cavalry arrives as Sterling, Gundogan, and Bernardo arrive on the scene. We get a nice initial chest bump from Sterling into Savage, which creates some nice initial separation here. But Raheem Sterling is probably the least intimidating player on the pitch, while Savage is probably one of the most intimidating. So to me, this seems like a real mismatch in terms of shithousery potential. We actually get a nice little headbutt from Savage into Sterling, and by this point, everyone one starts to get involved in the mix. We have a city coach come over to check on Foden, make sure he's okay. Hey, you okay? Just wasting time, right? Yeah, just wasting time. Okay, sweet. No problem. Carry on. But meanwhile, Jan Oblak up here is holding back three city players. It looks like Fernandinho, Gundogan, and Sterling all are getting held back by Oblak. If you were to ask me who I would choose as my ally in a street fight, now I think you would know my answer. It's also pretty interesting just to see what Mahrez is up to in all of this. He honestly seems pretty over the whole situation. Mahrez may actually be the most peaceful player in all of world football. Anyways, it's time to catch up with Nathan Ake, who ended up getting a yellow card after all of these festivities. Here he really wants to have a go at Savage, and they're locked into, well, I mean, I guess not, not really locked into combat. They're more kind of locked in a dance of sorts, all until this guy in the green is able to pull Ake away. John Stone seems to try and have a supporting role here throughout this entire saga as a, as some sort of peacekeeper, and Bernardo initially came in pretty hostile, but has kind of settled down into this, uh, this little peacekeeper role as well. But Laporte here just comes flying in and makes everything worse, and he just acts as a center of gravity for the whole conflict, bringing Oblak all the way over and dragging everything even farther towards the touchline. Eventually though, the pushing and shoving dies down. We got some people over here making sure that Foden is okay and didn't get stamped on, while Stones continues this peacemaker role and is trying to calm down Savage. Now Grealish comes over though, and Grealish being one of the most elite shithousers in the Premier League, says something to Savage. I, I can't make out exactly what, but it's something along the lines of, you know you're gonna lose, and Savage just can't resist giving a tug of his hair. I, I don't know why. Even in the first leg, the Atleti players just couldn't stop tugging his hair. They have some weird obsession with it. I don't know what's going on here. I couldn't really tell you. Anyways, things pretty much all died down from here. Felipe just watched on from the tunnel as Atleti failed to score, and Foden got the last laugh as Simeone blew his top one last time before the final whistle. So, what did we learn here? Today, we learned that Stones is a good enough peacekeeper to stop World War III, Mahrez is probably the most peaceful player in world football, and if there's any player that I could pick to be on my team in a wrestling match, it's for sure Jan Oblak. Thank you guys so much for all of the support I've been getting on the channel recently. It's been insane to see how fast it's been growing. And if you haven't already, I would recommend that you hit the notification bell. That way, whenever I upload a video, you get notified immediately. Because some of my best videos that I've been uploading have been getting taken down for copyright. Even though the kind of content that I'm making is objectively fair use. And these are all manual claims as well. So UEFA, if you're watching this, just... 
Please stop. I'm trying to feed my kids here. But yeah, I have no power over when some of my videos are going to be getting taken down, and I don't want to re-upload them either. So it seems like if you actually want to enjoy all of my content, you have to do it in a speedrun fashion. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching all the vids. I really do appreciate it. I feel lucky that I haven't even been making content for a month and a half, and we already are starting to get a little community form. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and peace out, y'all. Take it easy.